Hey everyone, welcome to my second channel, Alyssa Hope here. If this is your first time tuning in, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe. It would really help me out. Oh well, guys, I decided to do a video on, I guess, well, it's hockey based, but it's also about me too. I've been asked multiple times uh, who my favorite player is and also like who my favorite team is, but more importantly, I'm going to be talking about um, my favorite player, Sidney Crosby, and why he is my favorite player. Well, I'll start back uh, about to when I was a junior in high school and I had no hockey influence prior to. I had no one in my family that was into hockey. I had no real reason to be into hockey, so I like to always think that um, hockey really didn't choose me. I just kind of chose hockey on my own. And I was exposed beginning when I was, uh, like I said, a junior in high school and someone introduced me to the sport and I became just consumed with um, with it and I really enjoyed watching the games and I began to sort of feel this drug that I never felt before. Um, I, I never really had gotten, I, I'd been into sports um, growing up but never to a level where I was really intensely focused like watching um, almost every game, being super dialed in and uh, just excited um, when when things were happening on the TV screen and uh, that was before I you know actually went to a Pittsburgh game which I've been to multiple ones at this point now but um, with that with the fandom came getting into um, watching Sidney Crosby preferably over the other players and I remember it, he was in a sophomore season during the time that I first started really getting into hockey and he was putting up massive uh, point totals I believe it was that season that he put over uh, 100 points on the board and he just had Pittsburgh fans I mean completely excited about what he was going to be doing yeah it was in 2000 yeah uh, 2007 when they made the playoffs and they had missed prior to um, but they obviously lost to the Ottawa Senators in the first round but when I watched Crosby's game I obviously realized that he was a very, you know, excitable player to watch, but more importantly, I began to pick up that he was an even better person than he was a player. And I think that for me, when I want to support someone, knowing that they are a good person, aside from just, you know, what they do, they're, they're good at that, but they're also good at just being a human being. And I try to really support those people because, I mean, innately, that's what I strive for and I strive to be. Um, and no one is perfect, but I think that it is um, important to to try to you know um, love others and to um, to do your best to be a good person as much as you can be. So when I really started to get into hockey, it was kind of a godsend for me because I uh, at the time and and really I mean it's I've dealt with it throughout all my life really since I was a kid, but. Um, I dealt with anxiety a lot and I remember when I was going to this private school that I was going to whenever I first got into hockey. Hockey was just that escape. It was that thing that really just kind of got my mind off of things. And um, I really I really struggled kind of to fit in. My, the school I went to was very cliquish and I've talked to several other people that felt that way. And um, and so I would just, you know, have my head in a book or, or something. I, I really just wouldn't be very social with many people and so I uh, I did feel isolated but after after school hockey was kind of that thing that um, I guess you'd say gave me some hope um, in my life and um, having anxiety I, I've realized that when people speak out about it uh, celebrities that I know like Michael Rosenbaum, Wilfred Dell, there's, there's people that are becoming more open about it, about, um, you know, kind of erasing the stigma of mental illness, really. Um, I found in my life that it really, it helps me. And just to know that you're not alone. And I don't have that influence uh, that uh, certified, I guess, celebrities do. But I would say that there's probably at least one person watching this that has experienced um, anxiety or depression in their lives. And, um, and I just want to tell you that you're not alone. I understand. Um, so I had this poster in my locker and it's pretty ripped up, but I went through, through some things the other day and I found this and and I would open my locker and um, between periods and just, you can feel so much strength, I think, in Crosby's game, but also his demeanor and the determination and kind of the strength that he has just um, in him. And I would kind of just open my locker and just kind of look at it. 
and just tell myself you can do this like no matter what you can do this your brain's telling you things are you know crazy right now you're freaking out you know you're nervous you're tense but you can do this and I think that's why um Crosby and his career for I mean the main reason I guess you would say is why it's meant so much to me is because I've seen everything that he's went through uh even later in his career and the things the adversity that he has faced and he's still come out on top and I think that for many people it's inspiring but I mean even being a fan before he went through all that it's meant so much to me um as a fan so um, I think it's important to to always hold on to those things that give you inspiration, that give you strength, that give you determination, no matter what they be, whether they be uh, religion or you know someone in your life or someone like an athlete. Um, that's that's really I think the takeaway from from this video is um, is to remember those people in your time time of need and and when you're struggling because they can lift you up. Um, you can take things from them that maybe you don't have or you don't feel like you do. But I promise you that not every video is going to be like this in the future. I'm not going to have you, you know, reaching for the tissue box or getting in your feels every single video. But I felt like it was important for you all to maybe see another side of me that I don't normally show and to let you guys kind of know why um, I really, really respect Sidney Crosby to a level that's kind of otherworldly for multiple reasons. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll tune in for more. I'll be uh, updating you all with NHL news on my second channel uh, every so often. And I hope to see you next time.